Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Stand Gamers, and welcome. So just the other day, I built myself this small outpost within a pod. The idea was to quickly deploy it and pretty much have an instant outpost on standby. Now, in the comments of the last video, you pointed out something extremely clearly. Now, this is, I will state, a modified pod because I was trying to fit it in. I did not have a med bay in my outpost pod, meaning that we couldn't respawn there. So, I'm working on getting that fitted now. But the main subject was how was I going to deploy these drop pods. Here's a little bit of a modified version. You can see that we've actually got ourselves the parachutes. Now, I tested the parachutes out. And they didn't do very well. But I will show you just how it works. So, we've got ourselves this very beautiful little transport vehicle here that I've been working on. So, it reminds you probably a little bit of Thunderbird 2. Because that was my concept for it. So the idea is we just insert it within the housing itself. We'll drift over to the actual pod. Move over there with a little bit of speed. We've got a mixture of both hydrogen and atmospheric thrusters. We need to slow down a little bit. And then we can just drift over the target itself. And then it comes to lining this bad boy up. Now when it was lining this up before it was a little difficult. But we'll see if Aaron can still do it. Now, the cockpit at the front here is probably in a really bad position. It needs some sort of cockpit or maybe cameras, you know, to line this craft up a little bit more perfectly. So we've missed the back end here. Let's uh, bring it down there. Okay, yeah, we've managed to get it. We've actually got it in our grasp. You can see them circles on top are actually merge blocks underneath. So we're just going to bring that down into position. We've got a connection. And we just need to lock that in. So there we go. We're now connected to the pod. Great, everything is fine and dandy, but we need to disconnect our landing gears below. So we're going to press P, and we should be able to take off. There we go. So we now have our pod, and that's how I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be very easy. Once the outpost has been used, you've deployed your actual outpost from the outpost, then you can just ship it somewhere else and continuously use it. So anyway, let's just do a quick test on the parachute. So when I tested the parachutes before, they didn't work very well. So we'll take it to a little bit of a higher altitude. Um, and then we'll deploy our parachutes. That should pop out the top. Okay. And then we're just going to drop the pod from below. Let's get myself into perspective. Okay. So you can see the number of parachutes that I've actually added to this to bring this to a slow enough speed. And it still might not be slow enough to drop that pod into position. So there we go. There we go. It's actually managed to land this time without completely destroying itself. So if I go back up to the ship and spawn my character now down here. You can see the issue with this is if you don't land it on flat ground like this, you don't have to reset the landing gears. That's not a big sort of job. Well, let's just drop that down like so. Okay, there's the gate. The gate's down. Uh, we just need to reset the landing gears. This pod has nothing in because I wanted to set you guys a bit of a challenge. But we'll do one more pickup on the pod from the ship above. And we'll just see how easy we can do it this time. So there's two things we need to do. We need to reset the merge blocks both on the pod and here. So we need to turn them on. Up here, we'll bring the ship down to the ship below. I just love the idea of it's kind of like hollow. You could have multiple sort of outposts or different modules that you could use with this one ship. So let's try to line this up the best we can. Since it drops on the parachute, it's going to be a little bit wonky. Uh, we need to bring that ship a little bit, bit back. And then the final thing I believe we need to do here. Oh, there we go. That was really fast. We're getting much faster and more efficient at this. Is quickly turn the merge blocks back on. So if we go into this menu and we go to that, we turn it on, that reactivates the merge block. So a very quick procedure. So if you did happen that you landed your outpost in an area and there was some unfriendly players about, you could quite quickly pick that up. Let's realign them. Uh, bring that forward. Oh, we need to bring it a little bit to the left, I think. Let's see what we can do here. Bring it a little bit left, rotate it around. Oh, we may have a bit of a problem. We seem to be sliding over to one side. All right, there we go. We fixed it up. For some reason, we just didn't have enough thrust propelling us. There we go. We might have to work on the thrust issues with this ship. Because I don't think the left and right thrust is as good as I want to. Or we have enough hydrogen tanks to keep them sort of hydrogen thrusters fueled constantly. So let's bring it a little bit more to the left. Drop that down. Bring it back a little bit. And we should have connection. There we go. We've got lock. Seal that up. And now we can try bringing and dropping this into a different area. So we'll actually exit this biome. And just see if it's capable of actually putting this craft into a more difficult landing area. So thrusters at the back are firing on full. Let's see if we can actually get in the direction. Use a bit of gravity. You can see some of the hydrogen tanks have already used the hydrogen out. 
So it's a very costly in the hydrogen part in this ship. Okay, we'll go for a little bit of a landing, maybe on right on top of the hill. We'll see if that's going to be possible. So let's bring this around to the left. Hydrogen thrusters have now cut out the back. Hydrogen thrusters are still working away on the front. So that's fine. Let's just make sure they're not fighting against us here. Okay. So we'll tilt this bit more further forward. Get a little bit thrust out of this. There we go. It's a little bit of a slow craft, but I guess you want to be kind of careful with your outpost. And once I work out this hydrogen thruster issue, maybe add a few more tanks within the back area, we should be fine. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit more difficult because we've got their hill. We've got to work out how we can probably slide it within one of the gaps, or maybe we just place it on top. So we'll um, bring this in at a little bit of an angle here. And dude, I don't think there'd be really particularly a reason that you'd want to put it on top of the a hill like this. But let's just get one of the landing gears down. And once that locks in, perfect. We can disconnect. And we can leave our outpost right there. Perfect. This, this is exactly what I wanted to see. Now, my challenge to you guys is I'm going to stick an empty version of this pod on the workshop. And what I want you to do is come up with your own sort of dropship or your own sort of pod on the inside. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at them and I'll do my top favorite three pods and ships in another video. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and have a look in the links in the description below for a link to this little pod so you can get started on your own project. Anyway, I'll see you next time.